Back and good morning on this Sunday. Taking you outside, here's a live look from Denver's Civic Center Park. Blue skies, some cloud coverage, which made for some really beautiful sunrises this morning. Time is 8:10. Let's get a check on that forecast. Here is Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Sam Postich with that. Sam, good morning. Yep. How's it, it looking today? It is a windy one, yeah. Kershaw. Uh, this morning, when I was headed out, I opened up my screen door, almost blew right out of my hands. Jeez. Yeah, it, it was bad this morning, and tumbleweeds everywhere, and there was some trash blowing around. Not what the, is this? Yeah, not, <laughs> not the uh, prettiest. Not ideal. Not the prettiest uh, start. As far as wind, the sunrise, as you mentioned, was gorgeous, but it has just been windy all day long. This is your monument camera, the uh, Community Banks of Colorado. And the earlier, when we were dealing with all the strong winds, you could see all the trees shaking, and not so much anymore as I-25 has calmed down slightly in northern El Paso County. But it won't last, though. Our wind gusts will top out between 30 and 40 miles an hour for pretty much the entire day. Once we get past 6 p.m. tonight, that's when we'll calm down. As far as any precipitation, nothing for our Sunday forecast, nothing on Monday, and even staying dry on I-25, unfortunately, Tuesday, as we were initially thinking Tuesday could be Seeing some rain and snow in the springs, not so much anymore. 54 degrees for us at the moment, 58 in La Junta, low 50s in Baca County, a cool one for Prowers County. Then later today, above average temperatures still sitting low 60s for us, closer to 70 degrees in Pueblo and low 70s on the southeastern side. It has been a bit chillier up in Park County this morning. Florissant, 34 degrees, 28 on Wilkerson Pass, and with those 25, 30 mile an hour wind gusts, your wind chills have been dipping into the teens, so it is cold into the high country. 45 degrees in Found, 52 right now. Canyon City with our winds starting to actually pick back up in southern El Paso County. 30 miles an hour sustained in Found, 22 in Pueblo, 9 on Monument Hill. That's why the camera, you couldn't see the uh, tree shaking around too much. But again, we're gusting to 30 miles an hour at the moment for the springs. And the strongest winds right now are actually across Monarch Pass and into the Collegiate Peaks, as some of those spots will be gusting 50 to even 60 miles an hour today. 22 miles an hour sustained in uh, downtown Salida, 15 over in Springfield. And our winds will stay about that through the midday forecast. Here's your uh, even 8 o'clock hour, 30 mile an hour gust model runs are doing all right with that 30 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts in Salida similar in Canyon City and then see those strong winds hit I 70 by a noon today. So 47 mile an hour gusts hit Carson County. You'll see this cold front start to work its way into the far eastern plains by four or five o'clock tonight. 52 mile an hour gusts in Leadville. The mountains are just not calming down through the afternoon and then some winds across the southeastern side, which is transporting cooler air our way for tomorrow. The reason why we're so windy today is the jet stream dipping into Colorado. Once the trough pushes off to the east of us by our Monday, we'll calm down with the wind speeds. And with that trough, we're getting much cooler air. This is the surface analysis map just showing the cold front on the ground and not getting any precipitation. All of the rain and snow snow well off to the Midwest, not so much in Colorado Springs, even though we desperately need it. But then by Monday night, we see another system in the Pacific Northwest bringing us some snow showers up across the continental divide. As far as snow accumulation goes, Colorado Springs I-25, absolutely nothing. But if you're traveling Monday night through Monarch Pass or Western Chafee County or over into Gunnison, the San Juans, some of those spots will be seeing some snow accumulation. Here's your Woodland Park seven day forecast, low 40s for tomorrow as the higher elevations for Monday will actually be warmer than I-25 regions. Pueblo 39 degrees with mostly cloudy skies for Monday afternoon and turning mostly sunny by Tuesday. Canyon City sitting at 41 degrees to start off next week. So warm and windy today with red flag warnings in Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Then our next best bet for some snow accumulation for Colorado Springs and down across the valley spots. That's coming on Friday. Really hoping we can get some snowfall, but at least tomorrow feeling like winter. Kershaw? So 